One other formula we need to talk about today. Well, technically it's two formulas, but it's kind of two in one. The perfect square trinomial factoring formula. This one's not quite as important. It's, it's, it's more important for, well, for multiplication. It's really important for multiplication. So you might as well use it for factoring because it's a two-way street, right? That equal sign is a two-way street. Let me show you what I mean. A squared minus 2AB. Well, let's, let's, do the let's do the plus version first. A squared plus 2AB plus B squared. We know that's what you get when you multiply out A plus B quantity squared, remember? That look familiar to you? You're used to it the other way around, right? A plus B quantity squared equals A squared plus 2AB plus B squared. But it works, the equal sign there is a two-way street. So, and, and, you know, multiplication is the reverse of factoring. So if you're given something of that form on the left, we call that a perfect square trinomial. So it's this guy, it's a trinomial, right? And we call it a perfect square trinomial because it factors to be A plus B quantity squared. And then the other version of the formula, what, what, what's this plus going to change to? Well, minus, yeah. Good guess after I wrote it down. <laughs> um, now, here's what I'll really make a guess on, or, or answer, hopefully not guess. So how does that change? A squared minus 2AB plus B squared, what does that factor to be? A minus B quantity squared, good. A minus B quantity squared. So, yeah, it's two different formulas, but I think if you can remember the first one, you can remember the second one. Now, here's the thing. You guys already know, if you've done the homework, you know how to factor trinomials, right? This is just an alternate way to factor certain trinomials that are also perfect squares. You might say, well, that's kind of a waste of time to remember. But if A, if A squared and B squared have lots of factors, then this is a more exact way to factor than trial and error, what we learned yesterday. So this can be useful. And since you need to know this formula for multiplication anyway, you might as well use it when it comes up. Example, factor 25x squared plus 30xy plus 9y squared. You could reverse FOIL that. Write down two parentheses and then trial and error, right? But I do notice that 25x squared is a perfect square, isn't it? Remember, for a product to be a perfect square, every factor in the product has to be a perfect square, and 25 is a perfect square, right? Because 5 squared is 25. Same with 9y squared, because 9 is 3 squared, and of course y squared is, is a perfect square. So the product of a perfect square, two, two or more perfect squares, will be perfect squares. So these guys, what I'm trying to say is these guys on the ends are perfect squares. And so that's a good situation to try, uh, since everything is plus, to try this factoring formula, a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Now what you don't know when you first look at it is whether or not you actually have 2ab in the middle. If you don't have 2ab in the middle, then the factoring formula won't work. It won't be true that a squared plus 2ab plus b squared factors to be a plus b quantity squared if you don't have 2ab in the middle. But that's a quick check. Okay, so if you try to use this formula on this problem, what's acting like, what, okay, what is a squared then? A squared is 25x squared, right? So what's acting like a then? What do you square to get 25x squared? 5x. What's acting like, uh, okay, what is b squared? b squared is 9y squared, so you worked ahead of me. What is b then? 3y. So what do you square to get 9y squared? 3y. Can everybody, s does that make sense to everybody? Okay, now, if that is in fact a perfect square trinomial, in other words, if it factors to be a plus b quantity squared, then this term in the middle, 30xy, had better be the first term times the second term, or first guy times the second guy, a times b, and then doubled, right? Is it? Yeah, if you take 5x times 3y, you get 30xy. Doubled is, um, uh, you get 15xy, and then doubled is 30xy. It's going to work, and it's super duper quick. So now, apply the formula. What does the formula say the factorization is? 
Oh, you take the A, which is 5, the B, which is 3Y, you add them together and you square it. So you get 5X plus 3Y quantity squared. That's it. So when it works, it's super quick. Okay, so in part B, we have 49P squared minus 84PQ plus 36Q squared. Okay, is there a common factor, first of all? GCF? Uh, the 49 kind of ruins it, right? Minus 84 is even, 36 is even, but 49 is not. So yeah, I don't think we can do much with that. Okay, I do see a minus here, so which of the, uh, and I do, I do recognize that 49P squared is a perfect square and 36Q squared is a perfect square. Those coefficients have to be perfect squares for the entire term that, to be a perfect square. 49 has to be a perfect square, so does 36, and they are. So it's possible that that formula, um, A squared, in this case it's a minus, so minus 2AB plus B squared, that factors to be A minus B squared. It's possible this formula works. I have to check to make sure I have the right middle term. And in order to check that, I have to be able to identify A. So this guy is acting like A squared. What's A? Again, here's what you ask your, here's the question you ask in your head. Okay, if A squared is 49P squared, what do I square to get that? That's A. What do I square to get 49P squared? Just individually, what do I square to get 49? Seven. What do I square to get P squared? P, right? Okay, and then if B squared is 36Q squared, well, okay, what do I square to get 36Q squared? That'll be B. What is that? 6Q. Okay, before you just plug and chug and take A minus B quantity squared as your factorization, you need to check it. Is 2AB equal to negative, or I actually leave the negative out. Is 2AB equal to 84PQ? It is, because it, what is 7P times 6Q? So 2AB, check it. You can write it down, check it. Is, that's equal to 7P times 6Q, which is 42, well, let me, leave the two out front, which is 42 P times Q, which is 84 PQ. Big old check mark there, that's what we want, right? So we know that in fact this formula applies, but you have to check the 2AB to be sure. And then the factorization, you just plug into A minus B quantity squared. What is that gonna be? What's A, what's B? 7P minus 6Q quantity squared. So what we're saying then, that's the answer. And, and always keep in mind what it is we're doing. This, this answer is equal to the given trinomial in factored form. So in other words, 49P squared minus 84PQ plus 36Q squared factors to be this guy, 7p minus 6q quantity squared. Does that make sense? Could you multiply that back out to check it? In fact, you can use the related multiplication formula, right? a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. You could check it that way. It works.